Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to part 23 of The Walking Dead Season 2, and w this is probably the second last part, so let's get stuck in here um, to the penultimate part of The Walking Dead Season 2. Thank you for the support, guys. I do appreciate it. Hit the like button for the last two parts, and let's finish it off in style, baby. You better talk some sense in him. You better shut your mouth, Mike. For his sake. Shut your mouth when you're talking to me, Mike. Don't ever, don't ever disrespect me like that again. We're going to fucking Wellington, alright? God damn it. God damn it! That stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem. Sorry, just... Give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. Well, why can't we just leave tomorrow? Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. Me too, man. What you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. And that we should stay away from cities. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit. But where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know... When I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. Uh, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you, Clem. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on. All right, let's do it. Let's get some sleep. So we got to be ready. All right, let's go to sleep. What's going on? No, they're fucking leaving without us. Who is it? Who's leaving without us? Mike. And Arvo. Bastards. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Fucking bunny as well. We're just leaving. Now keep it down, alright? Nobody else has to get involved. That's everything we have. They're leaving us to die, you scumbags. Listen. I knew fucking Bonnie and 
Bonnie was a piece of shit, but I didn't think Mike was that much of a piece of shit. Damn it, just... We don't have time for this. Just... Just be quiet, Clem, please. There ain't no way I'm leaving you get away with this, you pieces of fucking shit. Piece of shit, Arvo. Glenn, Glenn. Bonnie, you have to go. Don't get touched. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you I piece of garbage, day. Bonnie. Glenn, what the fuck did you do? Glenn, what did you do? Glenn, Glenn. Oh, no. Those pieces of shit. Clementine. What the fuck? Uh, Lee? It's what? just a bad dream, sweet pea. I, you're telling me all that was a dream. Now this is a dream, I imagine. What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. It's not like a cold, Lee. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. It's not like a cold. No, it's probably not. This is fucking crazy. This is emotional right now. Kenny, without the big beard. I feel bad. Why? called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. You didn't mean it. This is fucked Lee? up. Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Doug? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Because of her dad? Yeah. Clem, people don't always make sense. What her madness this is. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. What do you think? Should we have left her behind? No. Maybe we should have. I don't know. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. God, this is too, this is too emotional. Part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That you won't leave me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I promise. But you did, Lee. You did, man. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> the fields. The fields are real. Now let's try to get some sleep. So when we go back to sleep, okay, we're gonna me. go back to real life, I guess. This was kind of a fucked up dream, man. Too emotional, too raw. I 
don't like it. I'm gonna wake up now. Are we? Or is that the end of the game? Boom. Nope. On the left. Yes, we're still here with Kenny and Jay. Slow down. Shut up. Yes, they killed Bonnie. They must have killed Bonnie and Frank. She's awake. Hey, you. Clam. Oh, thank God. Am I gonna be okay? You should be. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? We never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Yeah, you killed him, Kenny. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of That's plan is that? That's a terrible plan. I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. Wellington's out there. We have to keep looking, Jane. Clem, you can't be falling for this. She made up her mind, Jane. Clem, please. This is suicide. Why don't you let her think for herself for once? Why don't you? Me? Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go open. ahead. You wanna die out here? You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you, and you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, oh isn't God, it? Oh, God, I'm up. warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Shut up, both of you. Stay out of this, Clam. Don't tell her what to do. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita got bit, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Jane, Kenny loved Sarita. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. That's why he loves this kid so much. It can't talk back yet. Fuck you! You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't Mike, true! Mike? Bonnie? Sarita? Fucking liar! That ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine! I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens. I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny! Okay, we're not going with him, apparently. <laughs> that fucking asshole. God! I can't 
can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. Stop making him mad. Everything makes him mad. How are you not seeing that? Well, all you're doing is just making it worse. You're just like him. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck! Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive! See that pedal on the floor? Step on it! Don't just sit there! What? Jesus Christ. Clem, hurry! This is bad. Get out! Chain! Chain, wait! Chain! Holy shit, shit's going down. Where's Kenny, damn it? Alright guys, I'm gonna end the part there. I hope you guys enjoyed that. The next one will be the last one. So, get pumped for that and I will see you guys for the last one very soon. Mahalo.